All right, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Habakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Knows in the gospel of Rod, living up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is a lesson going into apparitions and demons and ghosts, uh, things of that nature. Basically, how those things are, gonna be, are they are going to be part of the judgment and part of the uh, evils that the Most High is going to release upon the earth when the Lord releases open the fourth dimension, which is known as the spiritual realm. You're going to have all sorts of demons and all types of spirits out here that's going to possess people and cause people to commit suicide and reach their demise. All right, and what inspired this lesson was the fact uh, when I went to see a chiropractor Friday and. Uh, it was this man, basically, he came in the office, in, in the doctor's office, with this nun-type outfit on, and I uh, got the picture of it, and it was real strange, and, and it was kind of creepy, you know, but it was weird, and people blowing it off like it was just normal, but through the spirit, I'm like, this is what's going to be fucking these people up out here, because this guy, you could tell he had spirits on him, and I'm going to show the picture, too, but it reminded me of that uh, movie, The Conjuring 2, when you had the demon, it's called The Nun, aka Valak. basically it was a deity that was possessed uh a, a demon that possessed this old nun all right that was supposed to have been like a nun and like some type of practitioner of, of of health and she was possessed by this demon by this sorceress and she became this this full-fledged demon and you can learn about that by watching the movie the nun and it became it was praised she was basically possessed by the demon Valak. all right and uh, when I saw that, man, I was like, wow, that's the times we're living in. Because, of course, you know, we're around this holiday called Halloween or San Juan, which is people pronounce it Sam Hain, which is, you know, the basically the God of the dead. All right. Because you got All Saints Day, you got Halloween. And uh, I believe it's like another name they call it. But it's like from October 31st all the way, I believe, to the third or fourth of November of, of, no, of November or something to that magnitude. But now we're in, you know, in a line of, of, of we're in a time of high level sorcery and witchcraft. You know, because I mean, right now it's October 26 and it's snowing out here, you know, but the rest of the week is going to be up in the upper 50s and 60s. So that shows you that Esau is doing some high level sorcery and he's trying to offset the uh, nature of the most high. All right. So we're going to get straight to it. All right. So I captured the image of this demon right here. And look, this is what was in the doctor's office. Like I said, I was going to get a chiropractor adjustment to, you know. Just I get adjusted from time to time because I, you know, I'm active in sports and sometimes my back hurts and my neck. So uh, I was in there to go get an adjustment and this damn thing walked in there. All right, and this is the norm in America. And nobody seen anything. Only uh, what stood out to me about this was the fact that the only thing person that picked up on this was me and this older Issaquah right lady next to me. We kind of looked at each other and shook our heads. But this is basically the type of apparitions and things that's going to be walking around here things that appear to be human and flesh and is going to take on the embodiment of a human but it's going to be a real spiritual demon that's going to be plaguing you people to destruction because it showed you that in ancient egypt and we're going to go through that on wisdom of solomon the 16th chapter that this is going to be the new norm out here man all right because people seem to think that this is a damn game you know everybody is looking for things to go back to normal but the new normal this is it okay it's this is the new normal it's not going to be no other uh, going back into the great good old dog days of America. That day is dead. You know, it's dead. This is the new norm. All right. And then, like I said, when this all hell breaks loose, judgment is going to come on all sides. It's not going to just be in the form of uh, the military or people riding and breaking in people's homes and killing one another. This is going to be on a whole different playing field, man. All right. It's going to America is going to be basically a hunted house because at the same time, you're going to have martial law. You're going to have people murdering one another, people losing their minds, committing suicide, overly medicating, you know, jumping from buildings. You're going to have spirits that's put on animals to attack people. You're going to have spirits that's coming out the fourth dimension. You're going to have spirits that's going to be taking on things uh, uh, that you're most afraid of, like that movie Bird Box. Basically, whatever person was afraid of, that demon took on an apparatus of the or the uh, apparition on whatever it is you're afraid of. And the Most High said that he will, uh, basically roughly paraphrasing it, he said that uh, he would bring your worst fears upon you or your your imagination. He would give them over to their own imagination. So if you're scared of vampire bats, man, hey, you may just have one to come out the fourth dimension to attack your ass. You're afraid of what they call Sasquatch, 
which is aka Bigfoot, which they had several sightings of Bigfoot, especially out here in the land of Missouri, because Missouri is pretty much 70% wilderness, land, woods, nature. It's a lot of these particular uh, deities out here that the Most High got, like the Mothman. You know, they got a documentary on, um, not Hulu, but it's on uh, Amazon Prime about the uh, Mothman, I believe of West Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. So these things are going to be reality. And while you people are fucking around, man, you people ain't got a damn chance in hell on making it. And a lot of you just going to give up the spirit because the scriptures say man's heart's felling them for fear for the things that's coming on earth. So you're going to see things that's going to literally have you to give up the spirit. Because what you have to understand about the American culture is that it's bred in fear. All right. From the moment you were born, from the moment you come out of the womb. All right. You were basically bred in fear. You were told what the fear and what not to come against. They told you to fear the dark. They told you to fear monsters, ghouls, goblins. All right. They told you to fear your life, basically. So when you're hearing nothing but fear, fear, fear in a generated hysteria type media setting, that's all you're going to function off of is fear. All right. So uh, this is just a, basically a bunch of pictures of, of ghosts and demons. And of course, a lot of it looks a little far fetched. But nonetheless, man, you know, you got a lot of spirits out here and they're very active, especially we're in the month of October, too. So uh, it's, 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 it's going to get bad out here real soon. But basically, the pitch I showed you, brothers here, this is basically what walked in the damn in the damn clinic, in the chiropractor clinic. This is the God, the, the demon Valak from the nun. They call it Valak. All right. Which Valak is a Hebrew word. Don't I really don't really know the meaning. Matter of fact, I can look up the meaning of Valak right now. All right. Let me see the meaning of Valak. The meaning of. Let me get an understanding of it. Let's see what it says. Because originally Valak looked like the story of Baphomet, but it says Valak is a demon described in a. Geotric Grimoires, the lesser key of the Solomon, and some virgins that you like were Valak and Thomas Rudd's variant as Valu. Alright, but it's not really telling me what the hell does it mean. I want to know the definition of what does it mean. Here we go. And they probably throw some left hand shit in there. Hmm. Yeah, it says here this particular demon is described as the great president of hell, which, okay, whatever. It says controlling legions of demons and possessing extreme strength, intelligence, and the power to find any treasure. It says in some later text, Valak was given the ability to control serpents. And indeed, those who summoned the demon were also said to be imbued with this power. It says the appearance of Valak is no way none like, right? That's just a personified image. It really looked like a bafflement, almost a serpent. It says, appearing as a chair-faced winged boy riding on top of a formidable and frightening two-headed dragon. Indeed, decision to make the demon look like a nun was completely creative decision by filmmakers, right? It says, in fact, Valak has never been depicted as looking like a nun in any of the real historical lore surroundings. Him, it has nothing to do with nuns. But that was just for the movie, The Country. All right. But nonetheless, that demon Valak or Valak, as you want to say, is a real actual deity. And a lot of people are going to get jacked up by these particular uh, demons out here, man. All right. Yep, so this is basically what we saw in the doctor's office in a roundabout way. Could that man have been possessed by the spirit? Could have been. You know, who knows? But nonetheless, this is the lady that allegedly played by the lady by the name of Bunny Aarons, which she looks like a witch. You know? I mean, she looks like she looks like a witch. She looks creepy. And in order for you to play these particular roles... You literally have to be possessed by those spirits, man. You know? But anyway, let's get into some scriptures. Because you people, you don't have a chance in hell on making it. Alright, so this is the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon. And I'm going to start at verses... Uh, this whole, actually... This whole 16, 17, and 18 really goes into these heathens getting jacked up but anyway it says here for great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed therefore unnurtured souls have erred for when righteous men thought to oppress the holy nation 
the holy nation is the nation of Israel. And the Lord is going to bring judgment basically for the nation of Israel's sake, starting with the election first. It says, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness and fettered with the bonds of a lone night, lay their exile from the eternal province. For while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Right, most I put demons on them. All right, because for the simple fact, man, demon, demon, demonic possession starts in the mind. Like a lot of times people say you're schizophrenic or you're bipolar or you borderline personality or you may be uh, what they call uh, 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 in a catatonic state. A lot of those are demonic possessions in the mind. A lot of it is mental. That's why when they give you these medications, man, a lot of times if you go tur cold turkey, the demon will come and mess with you. Because these medications are designed to put even more spirits on you. If you notice, the Mosai was fucking those Egyptians up. He was plaguing their minds with demons to the point that they thought they were going crazy. It says here, troubled them with strange apparitions, meaning that they would probably see demons like Baphomet. They probably saw Valak. You know, they probably saw the spiritual demon Satan. All types of things, because you got to understand the spirit realm is consists of angels and demons. All right, which a demon is nothing more than an angel just on the left hand side. All right, because the word demon just really means uh, supernatural intelligence. That's all it means. All right. So uh, these people out here, like right now, when you pay attention to them, if you look at their countenance, if you look at the way they behave in certain mannerisms, these people got demons on them. Like, man, I was uh, at the mall Friday and these fucking nigga Jakes, man, get ready to fight each other over some goddamn shoes, man. They getting ready to fight the dude that work at one of the stores over some damn shoes. They're like, nigga, come outside. You know, and dude basically just explaining them like, well, look, man, y'all due to this COVID shit, y'all got to call up here and set an appointment so y'all come pick y'all stuff up. He explained that to them, Jakes, but them niggas, man, they brother to kill him, basically. You know, they was literally trying to kill him. And then one dude went back and got his father. So, you ain't going to threaten my son. These people had spirits on them, man. You know, these people were literally possessed with demons to make you want to kill somebody over a pair of funky ass shoes. That's pathetic, man. But, hey, that's the type of shit we deal with here in Babylon. All right. And it says here, for neither might that corner that was held them keep them from fear. So they was huddled up in corners, probably had covers over their head. You know, like uh, they show you in them scary movies when the kids see a ghost in a doorway. He's basically hiding under the covers, man. We all did it as kids. You know, we heard some. We hide under the covers. But we be playing a spooky game. We hide under the covers because in our mind, the imagination is a powerful thing. Because really in your mind, you can conjure shit up to really think it's there and it may not be. But that shows you the power of the mind, the untamed mind. It says here, and held them, kept them for fear, but noises as of waters falling down sounded about them. And sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenance. So they was hearing people weeping, people screaming and yelling. Pitch black and you hear waterfalls falling right on the side of you like you finna walk off a cliff. That's some creepy shit and that's what the Most High is getting ready to do here in America. Especially when they shut the grid down and when they start coming in with mass, mass, with uh, mass judgment. Hey, the Most High is getting ready to open up a can of hell on this place. And don't get it twisted, brothers. Those demons and those spirits, really, they're going to be really working for us, man. Because he, hey, it tells you in the scriptures, it say that even the demons fear and tribble or the devils fear and tribble the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So... The fact that these spirit operations out here, these particular ghosts and goblins, whatever you want to call them, really, they are set up to pretty much play algae eater to the undesirables out here. All right, because we're going to be straight in that day because we're going to be anointed. The Most High said, look, set a mark upon them that sign cries. So the demons, they're going to see us, but they're going to, they ain't going to fuck with us. They're like, nah, he cool. He a man of the Lord. It's like we're going to have a glow on us in a dark place. It's almost like looking through a thermal scope in a dark room and you seeing white figures and that's going to be us. So the demons and the ghosts and the spirits and the bug outs, they're going to be bypassing us and cleaning up the wicked doors, man. All right. So we ain't going to have to worry in that day. But you other people, you two thirds, you clowns out there, man, that's playing games with the Lord's word. Hey, man, you going to I mean, the Lord's going to literally scare the spirit out your ass. All right. It says no power. Of the fire might give them light so literally they were lighting fires bonfires you know candles uh, uh what they call a lanterns they was lighting these things in their palaces and yet it was still pitch black that just like turn a light on in a room but it's still black in the room that's that's a apple that's that's a that's scary man that's demonic as hell that's frightening 
you know and it says no power of fire might give them light neither could the bright flames of the stars and do it to lighten that horrible night and hey that shows you how bright and how many stars was in the sky but nonetheless the sky didn't even lighten up the the, the damn the damn the, the palaces it was that dark because the most high put a cloak of death and danger upon them egyptians man and this is during a time when uh the scriptures go into the three days of darkness that a darkness you can feel and it goes into the darkness you can feel that's actually going into these apparitions man because you know how they say if you go into a haunted house or somebody that's died in a house you can kind of feel it as either cold or you feel a presence that's basically what it was you know it was so dark to the point you can feel the spirits that's why it says israel pretty much stood peaceably and and, and they stood still in their habitations you know but it says only that appeared unto them a flame or a fire kindled of itself very dreadful for being much terrified they thought the things which they saw to be worse than they saw not so basically let's just say if you looked at yourself in the mirror basically the image you've gotten would have been like that of something way worse than what it is basically you were seeing things that wasn't even there you know like if i looked in the mirror and i saw another person but it looks completely just distorted that's basically what it was so if you see a cat the motherfucker look like a mountain lion or something like that and they showed you that in uh batman begins when uh basically what's his name uh dr scarecrow when he released that serum through gotham's uh sewer systems and once the uh the levee broke and then they released the serum on the people basically when they was overly medicated everything looked like uh something different like batman appeared to be this big gigantic bat monster man it was scaring the shit out of people and even batman was bugging out from this shit you see what I'm saying? So that's basically how it was. So when the Most High shuts down America's grid system, and they really come in with this, with this, with this, with this shit, with this chip, and when all hell breaks loose, hey, there's gonna be a lot of strange things out here, like a zombie apocalypse. And the scriptures back it up, and we're reading it. You know, it says here, as for the illusion of art magic, they were put down, and their vanity and wisdom was reproved with disgrace meaning that their witchcraft their sorceries their prayers it didn't have it couldn't stop the lord's judgment same way when moses commanded the staff to, to become the serpents and then pharaoh did the same thing but moses a staff and the serpent consumed uh pharaohs that are pharaohs to show you that the power of the most high can't be matched because like a brother said man when esau come up with his bullshit hey he's the most high is gonna match him with a presence man like when esau go door to door kicking in doors and trying to falsely inoculate people and throw people in concentration camps and when he start fucking with the prophets and hey, the most high is going to meet him with a force to be reckoned with man all right that's when that right hand gonna come in and and, and crack esau in his shit it says here for though no terrible thing did fear them matter of fact it says here for they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear <laughs> worthy to be laughed at meaning they have no power basically like when people try to do exorcisms and then the demon laugh at their ass like in scary movie when he father's trying to put the we well, ain't gonna call him father but when that edomite was trying to put out the damn the, the the demon out of the little girl and the damn demon started laughing at him <laughs> that's how it was but instead on a scary movie the fucking uh the, the 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 priest dude put out a gun and shot the demon in the face it ain't gonna be like that because you can't shoot a spirit but anyway, it says, For though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing of serpents, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air which can no more be avoided. But for wickedness condemned by our own witness, very timorous, and being pressed with conscience, always forecasted grievous things. For fear is nothing else but betraying of the successors which reason offered, and the expectation from within being less counted with ignorance more than cause which bring it to torment damn but by they sleeping the same sleep that night which was indeed intolerable I mean they couldn't sleep shit was fucking with them in their sleep and which came upon them out of the bottoms of the inevitable hell and it ain't talking about the pits of hell all right it's talking about the condition they was in all right they was getting plagued the most High was bringing them plagues on egypt and it says and were partly vexed with monstrous apparitions and partly fainted their hearts failing them, meaning they were having heart attacks. For a certain fear and not look for it come upon them. So it was unexpected. Like the scriptures say, Yahweh Shah is going to come as a thief in the night. All right. But it says here, So then whosoever there fell down was straightly kept shut up in prison without iron bars. 
for whether he was the husbandman or shepherd or laborer in the field, he was overtaken and endured that necessity which could not be avoided. For they were all abound with one chain of darkness. Whether it was a whistling wind, and the chain of darkness meaning they was all captive to their fears. And it says, or a media or melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches. So just imagine a flock of vampire bats flapping wings in the dark and you can't see it. Or like jeepers creepers or some shit. You know, it says, or a pleasing fall of water running violently. Or a terrible sound of stones casting down. So in the movies, you know, how something fall down, go boom and fall down right beside you. That's what they were being plagued. And on top of that, they couldn't see shit. <laughs> see you in a pitch black getting your ass tormented. And that's coming to America, man. All right. And on top of that, America is a big graveyard of the Native American Indians. So the Lord can raise up the apparitions of those old ancient Gadites to fuck up you Edomites, man. Because the scriptures say that the most high, this is to punish the wicked. It says, or a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches or a pleasing fall of water running violently or a terrible sound of stones cast down or running that cannot be seen of skipping beasts or a flock of bulls coming at you or a rolling voice of most savage wild beasts. Hearing voices, hearing screams and shrieks, bobcats, hyenas, or rebounding echo from the hollow mountains. These things made them swoon to fear. <laughs> For the whole world shined with the clear light, and none of the, and none were hindered in their labor. All right, which talking about the Israel, the Israelites is known as the world. All right, because we wasn't affected by this thing. But it says, over them only was a spread and heavy night, an image of that darkness which should afterwards receive them. But yet, were they into themselves more grievous than the darkness. So basically, they were bugging out, man. You know? So anyway, let's get another precept here. Because it's when the Lord's getting ready to unleash some shit in America, boy. And I can't wait, man. I can't wait. It's going to be like a horror movie. All you people that talk shit, you were proud against the men of the Lord, the prophets. You know, you disrespected us. You women out there, hey, it's going to be a, a damn hell for you women. Because you women, you're scared of the damn dark, man. you scared of spiders. So just imagine if you see like that movie Eight-Legged Freaks. <laughs> you see this big gigantic spider coming at your ass, man, and devour you. You want shit like that. And yeah, it sounds like a fairy tale for you unbelievers, but hey, we believe it because it's written in the scriptures, man. You know? But anyway, um, let me type that in. Man's hearts. Man's man heart fear. I think it's in Luke or Mark. It goes, men's hearts fell in them a fear for the things that's coming on the earth. It's in one of the Gospels. I could tell you that. Yep. Luke 21 and uh, 26. And it says here, And there should be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and waves roaring. Men's hearts fell in them for fear. They're going to be having heart attacks giving up the ghosts. For looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven should be shaken, right? Meaning that these elites, man, they're going to lose their kingdom. Because these elites are going to be getting plagued by these apparitions too. You know? And they're going to be resort to their bunkers and their military and their private security forces. Only to get the elect to round them up and put them head first in slavery. That's after we come off the chariots, though. But nonetheless, man, these are all part of the plagues and the signs that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai promised to bring on the planet Earth, man. And, hey, like I said, I can't wait. You know, because judgment is, is past due. You know, but hey, everything is in the Lord's time. So this is the book of uh, Sirach 39. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, let's start at verses 27. It says, and all these things are for good to the godly. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. So like I said, you can see uh, Michael Myers apparition walking down the street and totally hack somebody to death. You know what I'm saying? And yet. That's going to be all praises and glory unto you. How about you? How shy? Because old Mikey ain't going to come and fuck with us, man, because he knows that we're protected by the Lord. You see what I'm saying? But people like, you know, Maharakar or, uh, you know, these celebrities out here, you know, these movie stars, like all these people was giving this guy Ice Cube, even though Ice Cube was simple as hell. Vivica Fox. And I'm going to go into that a little bit next too, on how you women going to learn to respect the men of the Lord and just respect your men, period. I right, ain't going to be no rebuttal or, well, I don't feel right doing this. I want to do this. It ain't harm. Y'all going to do, you either going to get down or lay down. All right, we ain't in the time of hearing your feminist bullshit. But anyway, um, men like that going to get the plagues, okay? And it says here, they are turned into evil. For there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. 
and in the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them, all right? So the Lord is behind this. Yahweh Shemuel Shah is the one opening up that fourth dimension, unleashing, like they say, unleash the gates of hell, you know? And it says here, and fire and hell and famine and death and all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and a sword punishing the wicked to destruction. It said the wicked, not the righteous. They should rejoice in his commandment and they should be ready upon earth. All right. Which proves that it ain't going to be some hell you're going to be in. Hell is going to be on earth. Basically the condition. It says when need is and when their time has come. They should not transgress his word. So when the Lord said, go ahead and he opened up these, these different dimensions. Hey, that's all. That's that's murder she wrote. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and the ball, ball, ball.